Hey everybody, welcome back to Collecting Talk. They got the Hobby Drifter here again. One of the things I, I love to do, uh, especially now here in Tokyo, but uh, really everywhere in, in Japan, is visit uh, little um, art gallery shows. Uh, these can be things like classical Japanese art or things like pop art. And one of the things I'm going to show you today is a, a pop art thing. This is This was held all over Japan, but I went to the one in Kyushu back in 2008. This is the uh, Rumiko Takahashi, or Takahashi Rumiko. It's a Rumik World exhibit. Uh, Rumiko Takahashi, of course, is the creator of things like Udise Yatsuda, uh, Ramu One Half, uh, Inuyasha, and th things like that. Uh, she's got this really uh, nice art style that I really enjoy, even if the, the stories aren't always uh, my thing. But with many of these, I mean, almost all of these exhibits are, you know, just, just wonderful. Uh, but at most of them, um, not all of them, but most of them, you're, you're not allowed to uh, uh, take photos. <laughs> that, that doesn't stop people. Um, it, it should. But they, they do ask that you, that you don't take photos. And for me, personally, uh, whenever I, I go to an art, ex, an, an art expo or something like this, and they've got the the sign up, you know, photography strictly forbidden, uh, I'm, I'm really happy uh, because that means that at the end of the show, uh, more than likely, they're going to be selling a, a uh, book with all of the uh, things that are on, on display, like nice, nice photos of the uh, artwork. And I, I love these these photo books. They're, they're one of my favorite things to, to collect. Uh, they're probably my, my favorite souvenir to get from any of these shows. And there's there's usually a ton of, of stuff. Uh, uh, postcards, uh, clear files, things like that. Um, but I mean, if, if, if it's an art show and I'm not allowed to take photos, then yeah, I think a, a collection of all of the artwork that was on display makes for a the pretty good uh, uh, souvenir. So, like I say, this is... Uh, the, the art book uh, covered by some other stuff. Let me show you the other stuff here. Um, here's the uh, ticket stub from the show with the, the message from the uh, event staff. And the uh, Chidashi, the event flyer. These are usually available in, in the lobby. Uh, again, uh, good souvenir. Even if you're not going to buy the book, these make for, for nice uh, souvenirs. And another copy here. Uh, also have the original receipt for when I bought I bought the the books and I'll come back to that. So yeah, here's here's the book. The uh, it's a Rumic World book, and uh, this is probably my favorite of all of these Expo books that I've collected, um, simply because it's very simple, but it's very comprehensive and it looks just amazing. Here's here's the front cover for It's a Rumic World. Get some nice examples. Uh, now, in a bunch of these uh, books, this would be what would, what you would see inside, you know, the, the small little uh, photos of, of the artwork. But in this one, they're all... Here's the, the little fold-out poster. The sample of how, how the photos were presented at, at the gallery. But in, in this book... All of the artwork is reproduced uh, to the the full page. No, no half size work. No little mini stuff. Uh, just full, beautiful colors uh, on this this white background. So all the artwork really pops. It's mostly organized uh, by series, with uh, a few exceptions here and there. Ranma. And yeah, the, the colors are great. The, the paper quality is really uh, heavy, very heavy stock. So everything just looks almost identical to how it does uh, at the expo. Um, really no, no major loss in quality. And it's, yeah, 140 something pages of uh, just 
most of the, the painted artwork that was available uh, for viewing at, at the show. Now, if you would like to add one of these to your collection, uh, it is available uh, from, from uh, third-party second-hand sellers on uh, eBay and Amazon Japan. Not not cheap though. Uh, I think the the last time I looked, these were selling for forty thousand yen or more uh, on on Amazon Japan, and that 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 is a bit much. I, I mean, they're you know beautiful, they're gorgeous, but I'm not going to say that uh, you know spending four hundred dollars on on the book is really a great idea. Um, was kind of surprised when I looked at the price to see how much they were going for, uh, because I do have two of them, and that is because I went to see this this show um, back in two thousand and eight uh, with my my new girlfriend, and you know I was uh, you know she she's a big Takahashi Rumiko fan. I just wanted to you know go and check it out, uh, so she 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 asked me to go. Uh, see this, and we we went, and I was uh, trying to be cool, so I I bought her the a copy of the book. It was uh, I bought two of them for four thousand two hundred yen, two thousand one hundred yen uh, each. Um, anyway, yeah, so we got married. So now there there's two of there's two of these uh, in, in our house. Uh, we got a couple of these now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Are you a are you a fan of uh, Rumiko Takahashi? Do you did, did did you go to this show? Is this the kind of thing you'd be interested in? Um, let me know down in the comments what you think. I know a a lot of my my friends are big into uh, Namu Chan. Who do you say Yatsuda? Um, if there's any uh, any topic you'd like me to cover, um, Japan related, um, please let me know down in the comments or. Uh, send me a message, and I will do my best to accommodate you. Until then, thank you very much, and happy hobbying.